Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of the MacGasm Podcast. I'm Brandon Schnell. I'm Justin Van Leeuwen. And we got some more apps for you guys this week, uh, kind of photography-related apps. It's an app attack! And it's two weeks in a row of all apps. Um, don't have a beer sponsor yet, which we need to make that happen because we're drinking a lot and our livers are going to die. I'm a big fan of Bose. Uh, I just recently wrote about their <laughs> a, uh, delivery. You can get this shit delivered to your house. Bose, if you want to. In the Ottawa area. Our episode. I wrote a blog post about you guys. That was awesome. Or, or Mill Street. So we'll support either one. They're both in Ottawa right now. Either one. We'll stop drinking out of Mill Street glasses if Bose sponsors and vice versa. So it's up to you guys. Um, so let's get to the apps. Uh, Justin, you recorded a time lapse of us on a previous episode. With That's Josh right. And I talking. Um, what app we're using? How much does it cost? Give me a bit of a synopsis. Well, I'm going to tell Josh to look up how much it costs because I'm kind of forgetting right now. It was either a buck or two bucks. It was called Time. He has so much money, he doesn't care. He just I, did, I got gift cards I for Christmas. Money. I'm just like, app, $1, $5, whatever. <laughs> it's um, all the bills. So it's called Time Lapse Camera HD. It's called I Can Get a Longer Name If I Tried. It, it's quite long, but there's a lot of time lapse apps. So it, uh, I, I can't remember the, the, the company that made it. Let's see if it's under info here. It's under. It's made by Cat Eater, Cat Eater LL. <laughs> we didn't pick the name. We, it's not our company. So I, I, I haven't used any other time lapse apps. I've seen some. They haven't worked so well. This one uh, I picked up. Uh, it got good ratings in the App Store, which isn't always indicative of a good app. But this worked. Um, you can. Uh, I mean, so first of all, um, time lapse photography, time lapse videos. Um, you're taking uh, pictures at integers, one second, two second, three seconds, whatever you need, and then exporting it as a video so that it becomes this like really quick way of playing out um, a scene. Uh, you know, you see a lot of landscapes, nature stuff like that, really cool. You know, sun's going down, but it goes down in a couple seconds instead of hours. Um, so this app lets you do that. You can set your frame rate. Frame rate? Yep. How much? 99 cents. 99 cents. It's a buck. It's a dollar. Um, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I'd buy that. Um, so you can set your frame rate, which is good for video guys. Um, 24p, 30p, everything in between for whatever reason. In what does it export as? What kind of uh, It exports, format? so time lapse camera HD. HD in the Apple standard seems to be 720p, not 1080p. So it's 1280 by 720. Uh, if your phone can handle it, um, the uh, Four does, for us obviously does. Um, then you can quickly post that video directly. Don't do it because I'm not on Wi Fi, am I? You're gonna. Yeah, you're on Wi Fi. Gonna fuck me up. Um, my data plan. It can uh, export to YouTube, Facebook, uh, iTunes, send it via email, or save your camera roll. Yeah. And it's, is it a .mov file? Do you know? I haven't checked out the file. I probably. It might even be MPEG 4. MPEG, eh? Maybe. You'll, Luca will figure it out. Yeah, because I'm going to send it to him. That MOV is just a container file. Yeah. So it's probably in picture. So, yeah. I mean, you can make time lapses. Now, Josh, can you uh, do that little gorilla pod and glyph back there? Just chuck it at me. So, time lapses. I've done time lapses with my SLR before. Um, you can't really handhold these things, right? You need, like, you know, 30 minutes to make um, a minute of video. So, what I did was I took. You got the gilf! Gilf. He's got the gilf. That is the glyph. <laughs> it is the no. glyph. But if you watched like the previous milf? episode, we said Grandma, yeah. So I, like I know, to. I know, I know. You guys reviewed the gilf, the glyph, um, and you know, I honestly, these two things here, the Joby Gorilla Pod and the glyph, I, I didn't use them. Like, you know, I bought this for camera stuff because you know they were sending this stuff out to people, and people were like, "This is the greatest thing ever," and I'm like, "Awesome! I'm getting one." And I paid, you know, 30 bucks for this thing, and I'm like, this sucks. And so, but now I finally started using it. Okay, so time out. Whoa. Didn't we talk about that on our episode, how useless it would be? What? Oh, wait, if Justin would have paid attention. Yeah, he's talking about the gorilla pod. I'm talking about the gilf and the, and the gorilla pod. Well, I've just made, like, the useless combo I like useful. Yeah, Here's, but... This is awkward because I'm off screen. Jo Here's, Josh is talking. Yeah, I like it because I'm not a photographer. So I would use that. Yeah, but the glyph? Stupid. Yeah? I, yeah. Well, because, yeah, you have a SLR and you walk around uh, taking pictures and your camera is your iPhone, period. I, I use it as, like, um, 
to take quick I videos mean, for apps. So, so quite honestly, I'm not going to walk around with this all the time. I mean, winter, I've got a bigger jacket or a backpack or something like that. And this is way lighter than my tripod yep. and my SLR and like the bucket list of lenses. But that he's I never going to carry it me. around. So but I'm never going to carry it around. But I am right now because I got this app, right? And so um, you just stick it in there. And this is how I filmed uh, the previous episode. So, you know, you guys will see some clips of the time lapse. Yep. And uh, you just kind of stick it there and you leave it. You leave it for, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, however long it is, however you figured out the math to be, the intervals in between the time lapse pictures and the video. And it just, the app does it for you. It's, it's nothing fancy, it's simple, but that's what I wanted, right? I just wanted something to produce it for me. And it did that, and it did it for a buck, and it works, and it produces HD time lapse video, and that's pretty cool. For 99 cents, you can't go wrong for the app. Um, it looks great. You guys will see the video footage. Um, now, I kind of been using a little bit of an editing app to edit some of my images, uh, doing diptychs or however you want to call them. I don't know how people say that nowadays. Um, it's like uh, bokeh or bokeh. I don't care how you say it, but. Uh, it's the pictures that have all the white lines. You have like four or five pictures in uh, the one image. Um, tip, I'm tip, using tick, tick, quad tick, <laughs> all the ticks. Uh, I'm using Pick Stitch. It's free. It, they're making revenue off their ad base, obviously. Okay. Um, basically, you can take your images, you launch the app, you can add effects to it, you can crop, rotate. Um, it's got a ton of stuff in it for being free. Um, so you can you can take a picture. Can you take a picture from in the app? No. Okay, so it's taken from your camera roll. That's right, it's going from my camera roll. So I just go and select an image, crop, rotate, flip, brightness, contrast, saturation, colors, red eye, stickers, draw. You can add text on top of it, whiten, blemish, sharpen, or blur. Wow. Who's that? She's cute. Oh, that's a girl I work with. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Anyways, uh, awkward. Uh, Karen, I hope you don't watch our podcast. Um, so you'd select four or five images, Upload it uh, to whatever you want to export it to. Um, I believe they have Instagram. You can upload it to, let's just go to export. Yeah, Instagram, it, photo album, email, Twitter, and Facebook, or cool. you can save it to your photo uh, your photo album. That's cool that you can put it directly to Instagram, because a lot of, uh, not a lot of apps take advantage of that sharing feature, that like move this photo from this app to this app, and that kind of bugs me, because sometimes I do bounce between apps, and I often have to like save it um, into the camera roll and, and then reopen yeah. it or something like that. And they like weird ones like like half tone does it and you know, but um, Snapseed, yep. uh, one of the better photo editing apps, I think, uh, doesn't. It doesn't support it. And it's just like I just wanna I wanna get it in there. And I, like I remember the days where you'd have to do it in a Photoshop and you'd create a template and you'd have to put in all your images on layers. You still have to. Uh, to make a triptych or something like a, that? that it's that's a still pain in yeah. the ass. And for it to be so simple on the iPhone is just a no brainer. And so and it's free. Yeah, and that's what I've been using. That's what I've uploaded I've been uploading to Instagram. Um, so I highly recommend it. It's called Pick Stitch. It's free. Download it. Try it out. Have fun with your pictures. Make pretty pictures. Make two or three. Save in your dollar. Put them beside to throw each at other. The hookers or the strippers. I don't know. Not everybody lives in Vanya. <laughs> hey, living it up. <laughs> Give my secrets away now. Hey. Uh, awkward. Uh, anyway, so that's it for this episode. It's a little quick photography episode for you guys. Um, Photo app episode. We haven't done that before. Really? Yeah, maybe you guys should leave some comments if you like this. We talked about... Um, What's the one the on one does? DSLR remote? Hey, we talked about that one. Oh, oh. DSLR remote. Yeah, they have that $50 I, yeah, iPad I, yeah. app. I have the iPhone version. Because it's 20 bucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, great app. Go back to a previous episode, reviewed it. I loved it. It was an awesome app. I uh, still use it. Anyway, so that's it for this week's episode. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Just look for this word. You know what we should buy, Josh? A macasm.xxx website. <laughs> off screen high five. Which is actually on screen. Uh, Even better. So. Uh, Bodiless hand high five. We, yeah, um, yeah just Google macasm. We're there. Um, and you can find me personally at twitter.com slash He's a little slow. Twitter.com slash JustinVL. Um, so that's it for this week. We hope you like this little quick photography app episode. Uh, have a good one and see you next week. Peace.